As you rise hundreds of meters above sea level in the dead of winter, the last thing you'd expect to see when you get to the top of the mountain is this. And for these athletes preparing for the Canada Winter Games, the lack of snow could affect their gold medal dreams. Well, as you can see, there's no snow. <laughs> we were here for, I think, a couple days. We didn't really ski. We didn't train gates, but we skied around. There's just not much snow here. I'm up here on Grouse Mountain, just below the peak, and this is the snowpack. As you can see, it's been a little bit difficult for these athletes to train here. So they've had to go elsewhere, like Whistler and Sun Peaks Resort, to prepare for the games. Yes, it'd be nice to train at Grouse, but there's many other resorts open, and my coach has found other mountains we can train on. Just the experience on a different mountain, different resort is more versatile. I think for some athletes it would have been a damper, but I think these ladies are pretty, uh, pretty good at knowing how to make use of what they got. So when we go away on trips, it's uh, even downtime, they're stretching, they're focusing on, on everything about racing. So um, no, we've definitely used this uh, as an advantage. Shabuya, Shabuya, roll call! <laughs> With just days left before the games begin, the excitement is building. I'm very excited to go compete at Canada Winter Games. It's been my dream, and I'm really excited to see where I place against the rest of the girls in Canada. <laughs> now the only thing left for these three best friends and teammates is to get ready to compete against each other. Yeah, but my birthday's not on Sunday. So, pretend <laughs> it was. Zach Singer in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine. Back. You have to be back. Yeah, my birthday was on Sunday. We're gonna party like it's Sunday. Yeah, we up and doing interviews. Look at that sick you. <laughs> yeah.